how to create nfts on solana hi guys welcome back to another video and in today's video i'm going to be telling you how you can create your very own nft collections on solana so without wasting any more of your time let's just jump into the video so the first thing that i want you guys to do is come over to soulsea.io now soulsea.io is like openseas.io but unlike openseas which works on ethereum soul sees as you might have guessed it works on solana so as you can see over here the open nft marketplace on solana so right now this is the upcoming nfts that are going to be launched over here and uh, down below we can see we have some trending creators the latest listings the hot collections and many many more so what we want to do is we want to scroll down over here at the bottom and over here as you can see we have basically three steps into creating our collection so first we have to connect our wallet we have to create our collection and then we finally we have to mint our nfts so let's go ahead and connect our wallet if we click on connect our wallet we have phantom we have soul flare and we have soul at so a lot of people use phantom so i'm gonna go ahead and click on phantom and it's going to take us to their website which is phantom.app and over here what we need to do is just simply click on add to chrome and once we do that it'll take us to the extension store over here where we'll just have to simply add the phantom chrome extension onto our chrome as you can see click on add extension wait a couple of seconds for the extension to be installed and while it is downloading and installing we'll go over here and see if we can sign up from here or we have to wait for the extension to install it and i think that we have to wait for the extension to install okay so let's just wait a couple of seconds for it to install and then we'll go ahead and you know sign in so over here as you can see it's already installed and now it's asking us to create a new wallet or user recovery phrase now if you already have you know phantom wallet you can use the secret recovery phase to sign back in but if you don't have one which i'm guessing you don't then you'll need to create a new wallet so let's go ahead and create a new wallet and over here this is going to be your secret recovery phrase so what you have to do is just simply copy it and you know save it somewhere else so that you don't lose it and remember guys it's very important if you lose it you cannot you know sign back into your phantom wallet so once you have saved it click on ok i saved it somewhere else and then over here just simply enter in a password or create a password that you want to create with and all you have to do next is just simply click on this button over here which is i agree to their terms and services and click on next so i'm going to go ahead and create a password right now click on i agree and then click on save and then over here they gave you a pretty nice little keyboard shortcut which is alt shift and p so if you click on these three buttons you can open up phantom anytime by using these handy keyboards so let's go ahead and click on continue and we can go ahead and follow them over onto twitter or discord or whatever but we're good we'll keep on click on finish and that's basically it now if we click on over here into the extensions button over here let's go ahead and pin the phantom over here and if we click on it as you can see this is how it will basically look like wait a couple of seconds for it to load yeah this is how it looks like you can go ahead and you know add in some soul coins or whatever into your wallet so that you can go ahead and operate on soul seas so now that we have step number one done we can go ahead and create our very own collection simply click on create a collection and then over here you have to connect your wallet to log in so let's go ahead and click on connect wallet click on phantom it'll open up the phantom wallet automatically and all you have to do is click on connect and that is basically it and over here just simply enter in your email address and password or if you're not signed in you can register as well so let's go ahead and register and once you have you know signed up you can go ahead and you know customize your profile you can change your profile image change your header image you can change your name bio location website url twitter username and stuff like that and once you've done that you can go ahead and click on save so i don't think we don't need these so let's just, we'll just keep it like that and we'll just click on submit if we can and uh, yeah so our profile has successfully been updated so now what we can do is we can go ahead and create our collection so to create a collection over here as you can see come over here on create you have create nft or create a collection let's go ahead and click on create nft if you wanted to create a collection you can go ahead and click on create collection the step will be exactly the same so over here we have to upload a static preview of the image so basically if you have like a static preview you can go ahead and upload it over here let's go ahead and click on this button and upload our you know nft okay this is the one that i created 
I'm gonna go ahead and click on yeah that's there we go I don't have an animated preview so we'll just go ahead and leave that and then down below we don't have an artwork as well but I think that we can upload this one over here as well so, yeah okay so now what we can do is we can go ahead and enter in our title and then we can enter in a short description then we can add in a beautiful description and then we can add a detailed description and then we can add the royalties and external url tags license and then we can see if we can you know add it to a collection or not and then we can just give it some trades and then we can click on mint nft and that is basically it so okay so i'm gonna go ahead and enter all of these details and i'll see and uh yeah we'll click on continue so first title i'm gonna call it i don't know what should i call it i mean i don't know what to call it i guess we can call it like you know stoner man or something i mean he doesn't look like a stoner but you know we'll still go with the stoner man and then over here we'll just add a short description here is a stoner with a beanie and then we can add a description on you know how we created it okay so basically i just wrote that i basically was playing around and accidentally got into making it and uh yeah that is basically it we can now add a royalties let's just say like 10 percent actually royalties okay and then we can add a external url if we have one if not it's totally fine then we can go ahead and add some tags so we have collectible we have art or we have painting as well because it looks like a painting and that is basically it and then you have find licenses here so basically licenses are basically whenever someone buys them they have to you know select a license that we you know select they get that license for that nft and then they use it according to that license so if we choose private use slash non-commercial exploration basically that person cannot use this nft or artwork for commercial uses it's only for private and then we have personal public display slash non-commercial exploration basically that means that anyone who uses this nft or buys this nft can only use it as a profile picture which i currently you know want and then it has public display slash non-commercial which is exactly the same and then we have reproduction slash commercial exploration meaning we can allow this image to be used in commercials and you know public reproductions and stuff like that so we'll just you know choose public display and non-commercial and then we can add some traits let's say color and then we can say like blue yeah then once we've done that we can go ahead and click on mint nft and over here as you can see it's uploading asset over here onto the soul c please sign in the transactions so over here we have to make a transaction of 0.000001 soul but as you can see i have nothing over here in my new account so i cannot make the transaction but if you did have one you all you had to do was click on approve and that is basically it yours would say that your nft has been successfully minted and it is now online and is ready to be sold or whatever and that is basically it that is how you you know use soul c to mint or create nfts on solana so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and turn on post notification guys and having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye